Okay, here I am at Tethro, and we're talking about the Tour Striker 56 degree club right now. How this is going to help you with a bunch of shots. I love this club because you don't have to make a full swing to understand its, uh, its benefits. So here I am, face on view. What I want you to do before you hit a golf ball is just to go ahead and take the Tour Striker, and let's learn how to get that rounded flange below the leading edge, and let's just gently let it hit the ground. Now, I could take my right hand off, and in essence, this angle is expanding on its own into that spot, and I'm bruising away the turf right there, okay? So it's not about me making the shaft find the alignment with my left arm. It's a rhythm that I can do with my left arm only, letting that shaft seek an alignment kind of naturally, and you'll feel it when you do it with a golf club, and then you can do it with a right hand, let it hit the ground. And what most amateurs are going to do out there, they're going to go and they're going to fire this too early. They're not going to be able to carry, in essence, this little wedge that I'm creating my backswing to impact. Okay? So that's the one little warning for you. So hit the ground. Let that rounded edge kind of hit the ground. Get, get used to where your low point is. So little short shots. Leading edge, again, little narrow stance, ball a little bit back. We're just going to hit little shots. Now, that little shot actually landed a little bit behind the ball. That's okay. Now, with a regular club, you might have hit a fat shot there. The face is forward on this 56, okay? You're learning how to have a downward strike. The tool will teach you how to have a downward strike without the fear of laying the sod over the ball. Now, I can do better. Let's go ahead and try it. I want to hit the ground, let that rounded part bounce off the ground, hopefully with a bit more precision this time. Good. Now, you can't see that ball went, but it's about 30 yards. Let me tell you what, that little forward-leaning shaft, downward strike shot, that's that kind of really sexy wedge shot that amateurs go, how do pros do that? Well, you do it, it's just... It's just a function of mechanics, people. When you can get that shaft leaning down, engage those grooves, you hit a great little shot with spin on it. Let's go down the line. So again, you're going to feel this rounded part of the tour striker hit the ground. You can do a couple little rehearsals. Very soft hands. Kind of aiming your angles. Get that sense of hitting the ground. When you can do that a few times, let's go ahead, and put, go ahead and put a ball in the way, and let's try to replicate that feel of, of making sure that we hit the ground. And there's a nice little pitch that went about 45 yards. But those are the impact alignments. That's the sensation you need to hit that little shot. Let me grab my 56 degree sand wedge here. We'll do the same thing. Now, this has a leading edge, clearly. This has the ability to, you know, hit a fat shot, but that's okay. You're learning how to aim your angles, how to have precision down through impact. Let's hit that same little shot. Good, about a 45-yard shot again. That's that spinny wedge shot that amateurs just have a hard time hitting. And clearly, you can see that the leading edge on this normal, traditional club took a divot. So I'm on a really tight lie here, fescue grass, very little room for error. This makes a lot of amateurs super nervous. What do they try to do traditionally? They try to pick it. And by picking it, you can see that I topped it, okay? So what you're learning to do with a tour striker is to let that club bounce, hit the ground, commit the ground, one-handed, two-handed, then put a ball in the way. When you can do it a few times with a tour striker, go ahead and get your sand wedge out and replicate the feel. Good luck. I hope, I hope we improve your short game.